Okay, here we go. Um, we're having a look at a Digitech RP155. Um, this is a modeling guitar processor. Um, it's got a bunch of different things, as you would expect. They're quite cheap on the market um, and a great little thing to uh, have maybe for your first multiple amount of uh, effects. Obviously, what you can afford in one of these things um, is a lot better value than buying hundreds of different e e uh, effect pedals that are going to do the same job. Uh, so you've got the preset, 50 presets from the factory. Often the factory presets are a little bit overdone um, and with a little bit of tweaking you make them sound quite good. But they give you an example of, of how extreme uh, effect that they can have. Then you've got 50 that you can preset yourself. I haven't done any of that. And it's also got 83 amps and different ca speaker cabinets and so on. Just heaps. And it's even got some uh, drum patterns on there, which I won't even touch today. Let's have a listen to a couple of the um, sounds we got. We've just got this running, uh, just like a Les Paul, into the uh, effect and then into the, an amp. The amp is on clean, no, no effects whatsoever, not even reverb or anything. Uh, we'll just go through some of the different uh, presets in here and we'll, we'll see what they do. This is number one. Okay, number two. Very big and bassy, that one. Oh, here we go. Obviously, when I hear the sounds, I'm going to try and play something that's going to complement it. Some of these I'll spend a lot longer on than others. Here's an interesting one. Uh, I think I heard that sound once on, uh, what's that Ben does, Seven Army, uh, the, the duo thing with the, the wife and the, the woman. They'll come to me later. something there. Now, 
this is where I think the um, this comes alive. I do like its clean sounds and its choruses, its reverbs, but distortions. I'm not so happy with the distortions on this thing. It'd be alright if you're just playing metal. It's alright for that really heavy metal stuff. But I'd like to hear better classic rock sounds on it. So if you're looking for that Def Leppard clean chorus sound, that you can get it in this. Actually, that one would be a good. That's almost usable, probably take the trebles off a little bit and it's alright. Alright, couple more. There's a really good acoustic simulator on this to make it sound like an acoustic guitar. That's almost not too bad for a classic rock sound. <laughs> I think this is the uh, acoustic one, so we'll just take the effects down on this. different wacky effects. Too much for me.
you go. Some octaves are there. Plenty of crazy sounds to keep the young fellas excited. I guess we're nearly up to 50 now, so got to be the end of the uh, presets. Ooh. I'm going to play some bass. There's a little bit of a rundown. Apparently it's got some drums in there. You've got headphones out. You can stereo it out. You can also um, plug it directly into a hi-fi or into your mixing desk. And it's got a little switch on it which allows to put some um, put cabinet simulator on it. So it won't sound too terrible like a line-out. It will actually sound more like an amplifier. I've actually done this at home. It sounds all right. Um, this to me would be good to have around set a couple of your favorite programs to have it quick and easy and be able to practice. I wouldn't want to perform on stage with this. However, if um, I had a really good amplifier and I just needed some extra effects and not the distortions, um, you could put that into the effects loop and use the reverbs and the delays and the choruses because Digitech really do good, good quality ones in that. And for no doubt, this is quite a cheap unit. Um, it, it's still worth buying one of these instead of buying 10 effect pedals. All right, cheers. <laughs> 